Hello everyone, welcome to At My Happy Place. Another project we have been working on is to install drywall and insulation in our garage. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a drywall. Let's get started. We got these drywall panels from Menards, about 7 to 8 panels. Each panel weighs about 44 lbs and the dimensions are 8 by 4, so 8 feet long and 4 feet wide. And we actually rented this truck. So if you don't have truck to carry these big panels, uh, Menards has truck rental option. They rent on hourly basis. You don't have to make a purchase from Menards to rent this truck. You just need valid driver's license. So you can totally buy these panels from other hardware store and rent a truck from Menards and carry it to your place. So check this option out. Now I'm putting on some gloves and mask and let's get started. First, we are going to try this on a side wall, which is a smaller area. We took the dimensions and transferred them on the panel. Now we are cutting it and then we will fix this panel on the studs. And to cut these panels, we are using a regular cardboard cutter. So as you can see there, it fits perfectly. Now we are going to attach it over there. This drywall installation has two parts. First is to put insulation and second is to install actual panel on it. So you can see over there that's the insulation. You have to glue that insulation to the wall so that it doesn't fall off. Now you can see there my husband is applying some glue and just pressing that insulation on it. This insulation also comes in sheets and you just have to cut it according to the size of your wall. Now moving on to the second part. First you have to apply that glue on the studs and then install your panel on it. This is a specific glue. It is called as heavy duty construction adhesive and you can find it in your local hardware store. While we were installing this panel, we realized that the other wall has some uneven edges. So I had to cut some pieces and also sand it down to make it even. And then that panel fit in perfectly. And now we are just mounting the screws. Now the smaller part is done. So we have tried it on that smaller area in the corner as you can see. And now I'm just moving all the stuff to the one side so that we get some space and we can work on this main large wall. So here you can see we have already glued and installed these insulations and now we are ready to install our panels. We are trying to figure out how to install this whole panel without cutting it. So what we are doing here is we are transferring all the stud lines on this panel so that when you put this panel on the studs, you don't have to locate the studs. You already have the lines and you can just simply drill the screws along these lines. Does this make any sense? In this way, you don't have to do all the hard work finding the studs and holding the panel at the same time. Drill the screws along those lines and you are done. It is recommended that you put the drywall panels in staggered manner and not one above the other. We are using impact drill for the screws. If you use impact drill, it will be very easy to mount the screws. Otherwise, with regular drill, the drill bit will become loose and it will be a hassle. So I would recommend to invest in a good impact drill. Mm -hmm. 
it is recommended to mount the screws 16 inches apart so in your 4 by 8 panel you will drill approximately 20 to 25 screws as you can see we are almost done we are just putting small pieces here and there where you see the gaps and then we will move on to the next part now i have this all-purpose drywall joint compound i also bought this taping knife it comes in different sizes and i also have this solid joint tape i bought all of these from lowe's and as you can see there are some gaps in between those panels so now we are going to fill in those gaps with this joint compound Make sure to use a generous amount of that compound and do your best to cover that gap. Now I'm going to put this solid joint tape over that compound. So this tape is not a regular tape. It doesn't have any stickiness. So you just hold the tape and put that compound over that tape. If you want to cover a corner, this tape has crease in between. So just fold your tape over that crease and cover the corner, put some compound on it and seal the area. As I mentioned earlier, this drywall installation process has two steps. First is to put insulation and second is to install drywall panel. So I would call this a third step where you seal all those gaps. This is totally an optional step. Some people don't even seal those areas, but we have decided to go ahead with this and seal all those gaps. Let everything dry for one or two days. And after that, we install a pegboard and some hooks to hang the ladder. And this is how it turned out. And that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and family and for more videos, stay tuned. Bye!